Welcome back to another video with IDN TV. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, just make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Now, let's get right into it. Now, man, we're talking about BMF, 50 Cent, Blue Da Vinci, Big Meech, Lil Meech, everybody that's been involved with this whole BMF situation. Now, this is the third installment of this particular case or this particular news story. Now, to catch everyone up to speed, it seems like it's the old BMF versus the new BMF, like I've been saying. Now, like I said, I got part three. Now, Lil Meech, who is the son of Big Meech. Now, if you guys don't know who that is, check out BMF Star's TV show, and he plays his father. Now, Lil Meech is pretty much getting the drift of what's going on. He's hearing what people are saying. He's reading what people are saying. Now, he went to his Instagram to actually explain why he feels the way he feels now he feels like everybody attacking him he feels like everybody has something to say about him because he's playing his father's role and he's pretty much filling the shoes of his father it seems like he's doing it in a legitimate way as his father was trying to do before he got locked up by the feds roll it i just thought about something <laughs> all my haters i shouldn't say haters all the people that don't like me they watch me every sunday like, damn. Lil Meech still trying to be his daddy. <laughs> Lil Meech still want to be big me. <laughs> damn. That little nigga won't. Now, at the end of the day, I feel like this with Lil Meech. I feel like this is perfect. I feel like he's making money for his father. He's making money for himself. He's getting his name out there. And ultimately, is getting BMF as a company, a legitimate company they're getting out there so you got to remember this is going to branch out i think he just got another show offer from hbo max so i don't see why anybody's upset with it, especially if anybody had love for me or said they had love for me they would definitely want his son to reap the benefits and things like that. Now, Lil Meech was pretty much getting the drift that people were against him playing Big Meech or just using the name. This, I said that to say this because Blue Da Vinci, who was pretty much under Big Meech when he was out and free and they were making money, he's saying that he's tired of kids playing with his name. Now, me putting two and two together, I feel like he's talking about Lil Meech. Roll it. Niggas kids is running around playing with the niggas kids is running around playing with the It's time to come back outside. A lot of these been talking sh A lot of these been playing. I get him. I gave him what two, three years. Two years. I get him time. I give him two, three years to show what they're gonna do. I sit back dormant. I don't say nothing. I don't say much. I don't go outside much. I plan plot strategize like Tupac. They called me Blue Pop when I did that. He did. Now, like I said, WAC 100 jumped into the situation as well. Now, he actually posted some paperwork. Now, this paperwork pretty much shows that Big Meech partnered with someone who is quote unquote an informant. Now, this informant helped actually make the show go to stars, collaborated with 50 Cent to make, to make the show actually come to fruition. Now, what WAC 100, what he's trying to say is, how can you look or how can you talk about Blue Da Vinci saying that he's quote unquote a snitch when this actual person was an informant and you're working with her to get your show on so he was saying you can't have it one way and then go the other way now this is what WAC 100 is saying now before i get into any more of the story like i said i don't care about who's a snitch i'm not saying anybody's a snitch but this is what they're insinuating and i'm just telling you the differences on what's going on now everybody's been saying that blue da vinci was a snitch now they're saying but my thing is this with the woman that has the rights to the show or whatever the case may be what's wrong with that she might be a civilian she might not even be in the street life like i said when bmf was going down or at least when big meech was about to make that transition before he got locked up he was trying to go legit so who knows if she was just a legit person and a civilian before, before even anything hit the fan so at the end of the day i don't know what do you guys think about that do you think whack 100 is right me personally i'm just so confused i'm wondering why whack 100 is in the middle of this at the end of the day but i'm here for the entertainment i'm here to find out exactly what's going on to get to the bottom of this but i wonder this does this equate with 6 9 and whack 100 working together as far as big meech and the lady that's quote unquote an informant does that kind of cancel each other out does that make people look at each other different me personally i say business is a business and the streets is the streets whack 100 then went on to explain how solid blue da vinci is now long story long he said he went to pick up blue da vinci it looks like they're on the team or they're just in the cahoots He's saying that the only reason that Blue Da Vinci's name is actually coming up is to promote the show for BMF. He said that he picked him up from the airport and it was already season, it was already episode two out about BMF. And this is when they actually released the clip 
much of, of Blue Da Vinci explaining that nobody's gonna play with his name. I'll show you a quick clip of this right here. Roll it. No, no I ain't gonna be in the BMF series. That BMF series, they gonna be, they ain't finna be able to use my name in that mother. They gonna have to use somebody else's name and they gonna have to guess. Or right, it's gonna be the person that's mother making everything happen. That'll probably be me. And that's when it gets to the BMF part. Everything else is really Big Meech's life story. So they're gonna see Big Meech as a young dude or whatever. It should be a great program. They doing a BMF TV show. So what? I'm dealing with more money than they finna use to create the whole mother TV show. Who gives a and 50 Cent run it out? I don't give a 50 Cent ain't got to do with BMF. That ain't mother so one dime rock in the park. But yeah, Blue Da Vinci was saying it was old. So I don't care if it's old or new. He said what he said. And then this is when WAG 100 explained that Blue Da Vinci actually owns BMF Incorporated. He was saying that he was a big influence on Big Meech. He was saying he was the reason that Big Meech was on the blue side, if you know what I'm talking about. He was going all the way down to say how uh, Blue Da Vinci was the reason that Big Meech even had braids. So long story long, WAG 100 and his side is saying he's the reason that BMF got so big, Blue Da Vinci. And on the other side, it looks like Lil Meech, 50 Cent, and Big Meech are just reaping the benefits and trying to go legit. So it looks like two stories versus one. But me personally, I'm here for both of them. I will watch both of their shows. I will watch Blue Da Vinci's show. I will watch the Star show. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's one side versus the other side. It seems like old BMF versus new BMF. Let me know what you think about this roller. What did I he do? Know. You no. saying the hey, video, whack. the little internet, footage? Hey, whack. My Hold brother, on. All I can say is the internet. Hold on, bro. Listen to me. I just left Blue. When I left 6ix9ine from the Bahamas, Blue Da Vinci picked me up from the private airstrip. He seen 6ix9ine right there getting his Rolls Royce and pull off, and I got in the car with Blue Da Vinci two weeks ago. It's real talk, right? Now, if you look at that video footage that they saying Blue talking crazy, mm -hmm. you know his braids is like up there by the top part of his ear. Blue Da Vinci braids is past his jawline. He did it, but he did it five months ago. Five months ago when he heard when it was supposed to be coming out, he did that. First of all, you got to remember, 90% of the is running around talking about they BMF. Ain't BMF, bro. They just associates wearing shirts. Blue Da Vinci is, he the reason why Meeks is wearing uh, I know, hey, 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 what? Hey, back in the day, hey. Do you not think that Meeks or T that has been home. Yeah, they would have said something about now. Hold on, bro. Has been home. He is home. Do you not think that paperwork wouldn't have been on the wire? But I don't think T would want to. Yo, T. T is why wouldn't he hate Blue Da Vinci? Oh, oh for real? <laughs> wow. Blue Da Vinci, Blue Da Vinci on me side. T at yeah, the other yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas yeah, didn't yeah, even yeah. talk for the last three yeah. years before they went to jail. Yeah. My. Yo, it was T lie. team yeah. against me team. You know, I'm just saying, I know Blue personally, right? Blue, when I got blue card, right? I swear to God, this is just two weeks ago, right? When y'all seen one of you spotted six nine behind me and Tracy Morgan in the picture, they spotted. <laughs> right? yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in the Bahamas, right? So, Blue picked me up when we got back because I got I had a business meeting with him. He said, "Whack, well, you seen it?" I said, "What's the show it?" I said, "Oh, look how short your braids is." He said, "See, that's why, whack, well, you don't put a braid." Wow. So these from five, six months ago that I did, and then put it out right now. I said, Blue, you know why they did it? It's pro ball. See, nigga, Blue DaVinci talking shit, talking shit about what? He talking shit about the 56 shit, about what 56? The BMF shit, they waited. Why they didn't put it out five months ago? Because the show wasn't up yet. Wow. Yeah, he from one yeah, nine yeah, East Coast yeah, crib. You can tell, yeah, the way, way he talks. Yeah, so well, watch this. What, what, you know, Meech is a crib too, right? Yes. Oh, oh okay. It. Where you think all that influence came from? LA. Right here in LA. Who you think brought all the LA to Atlanta? Around it. Blue. Yeah. All the come through blue. We should know them. Hey, I'm gonna keep it real. On the snack joint. This the 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 logo on the show is not the real BMF logo. Wow. Remember that I M I B M the M was is bigger than the B and the F, you right? Think about it, right? I, you I notice how that's not the original logo. You know why? Oh, who you think the, owns the logo? The feds own the logo, you said, right? No, like Blue said. Da Vinci owns BMF Entertainment, I <laughs> see. Which you be? Wow.
Now, thanks so much for getting to the end of the video. Make sure you subscribe with the bell notifications on because as soon as somebody says something, it will come straight to your phone if you hit that like and subscribe with all the notifications on. I will catch you on the next video. Signing out, IDN TV.